everyone, and welcome back. Friday morning, it's time to head to the tent. Joey, what are you doing? I'm going up to the tent a different direction this time. The Louisiana House closes today. So Melissa has a notary public going to her office and stuff this morning, so I'm going to drop some stuff off for her work and just kind of wiggle around and eventually make it up to the tent. Kind of smell like a dog, Joni. tent today and then uh, I want to get the yard mowed. I have the riding lawnmower on the trailer right now and there's some trees over at my dad's or a tree over at dad's place that fell over the fence and he has a bunch of it cut up but there's some of it that he couldn't get with his chainsaw so I want to cut that up. Everything is dropped off. Should be to the tent in about two and a half hours. back there at a little town and got fuel and stopped at a grocery store and got ice and a couple things that I needed. And this is going to be 4th of July weekend here. It's Friday morning right now and in Minnesota in the, on the weekends, you know, everybody goes up to the cabin, especially on a holiday weekend. And Melissa, when she moved up here, she didn't understand it because down there she said, well, everybody goes to their camps on the weekends there also. But it's different up here because with winter lasting forever, you basically have between Memorial Day and Labor Day, and that's it. That's summer, that's your warm months. So it's only Friday morning right now, and it was so packed, I had a hard time finding a spot to park with the trailer at the grocery store. I had to wait to get in for diesel. <laughs> that's why I just like going to the tent. I'll be lucky if I see a boat or anybody on the lake this weekend. Just somewhere where there's no people. Hold on, Joni. It's going to be bumpy. Definitely needs to be mowed. I can see the deer flies out there too. It's going to be rough. Well, I see Mr. Squirrel's been in here, opened up the top on that. This thing was full of candy.
I'll have to see how fast it gets cool. It's gonna get down to the mid 40s tonight. But with Joni, I mean, I just put bug spray on her. Don't know if you can see this, but when she gets bit by a mosquito, she gets these welts on her. And you can tell she's got a couple up here on her head already before I sprayed her. One here, one here. About a week ago, no, maybe two weeks ago, she went out and got bit up at the house and she was, it was like that all over. And Melissa had to give her Benadryl. I never remember that happening before, so if these mosquitoes don't die down early enough tonight, there's no real reason for Melissa to come up here tomorrow with Chunky if the dogs are going to have to stay inside the whole time, you know. I mean, I'll let her out with the bug spray on, but yeah, she gets ate up pretty bad. Well, now that everything's cleaned up there, I'd say a little bit after 12, I'm going to make a couple of burgers here like I usually do and have some lunch and then we'll, I suppose, we'll get on that mower and start getting that tackled. Once I get done with lunch, we'll put this stuff away. I bought some ketchup that won't be expired somewhere here. <laughs> I just posted uh, online that I'm up at the tent on the community Facebook, so now my phone's going off. The only vegetable I had in here in a little can was peas. I brought some more up with me, but <laughs> I'll get these taken care of. I'll get this stuff put away and get on that mower. I ate both those burgers and Joni had one too. She's happy. She likes it up here. So I just got canned vegetables, more of those. spinner baits. I haven't lost one in a while but it's bound to happen pretty soon. We got garbage bags, some more freezer bags or the gallon ziploc type. Plastic spoons and forks because I can't stand doing dishes. Melissa's been super good on that diet of hers. She's down about 50 pounds from where she started, but I want to make sure I have something here in case she wanted it. I never know when her cheat day is going to be. I got this blueberry soda. I actually got three of those. I think two of them are out in the cooler right now. Found some heavy duty tin foil. We're doing really good now on foil. And uh, I've got a lot of the gallon freezer bags. 
And then I got a couple of things of fish fry. I'll just set them up here for now, but they won't be able to stay out. They'll have to go into one of the bottom containers.
I have everything mowed. The driveway, the end of the driveway, the tent yard. I fired up the fogger and that thing works. And then I sprayed it into the wood pile to get the mosquitoes out of there. I even went over and mowed the folks' yard today too. And now I just talked to Melissa on her ride home from work and then in a little bit I'm going to run over to my folks and there's that one tree. He got most of it all cut up but there's still some sitting there so I'll bring my chainsaw over and finish cutting that up for him. I started the air conditioner in the bedroom to make sure it works and it seems to be doing good. Still have to make the bed with the washed bedding. My dad's been up here the last couple weeks and he's putting this stone in down here because something was climbing underneath it. I, I could have explained that already. And he put all the stone up one day, come out the next morning, there's a four inch hole dug underneath it, just like there was underneath the lattice and screen. So he's getting all this in and I told him to run over to the tent and grab one of my cameras. I had one that he could get at and he set it up here somewhere. <laughs> And I'm going to grab it and just see what if there's any animals that are walking around. And now he said he has 70 more stones in the back of his truck and he's going to come up here next Wednesday and finish this out. But I don't see where he put the camera. He told me too, but... Oh, there it is. It must be right here where they were digging under because he's got the camera set up right there. Hopefully the batteries are still good in that. He just grabbed it off the tree and put it up here and he said he didn't touch anything. He ended up putting the stone up, he dug underneath, so then he put 60 pounds of concrete down there and a bunch of metal pieces that he found in a workshop and more concrete <laughs> and then they didn't dig underneath it anymore.
So I took it off and opened it up and it was shut off. So either he did go in there because this bottom right here, like this one, was opened. Which it doesn't shut it off. Look at the mosquitoes here. Uh, but either I didn't turn it on when I put it back on the tree. Or he did go in there and accidentally shut it off or something. I don't know. Either way, I just put it back up here. Well, that's enough over here. I was just supposed to cut that one tree up and I cut up some more and then one that he had cut up I hauled up and put it in that pile. I even went over and tried to start the log splitter but it wouldn't start and that's a Honda motor. That thing you could just let it sit for a long time and it would start on like the second pull but it did kind of smell like old gas and I don't know if he split last year or not. I don't know. I'll have Zachary's going to be coming up to the tent next week and I think he'll probably be here when my dad is up here. Maybe he can take a peek at that to see what he thinks. Otherwise I was going to haul it over here with the four-wheeler and split this pile up for him. But that'll have to wait. Well, let's head back over to the tent. I might grab that swing out of the back of my truck and pull that down over by the lake. Seems okay to me. I never really sit in the swing, but I mean, everything should be exactly the same as it was. What do you think, Joni? I know they had some really big storms that came through up here. There was a lot of sticks down in the yard that I had to pick up and stuff before mowing. But this has never blown down before. I, it could. I've hit it before and it's went down, but it's never blown down. And these were scattered out that direction. So either there was a big storm or a bear or something. And I haven't checked the trail camera. I mean, I, it wouldn't have got the fire pit. But. Everything is really dry. I don't think it'll take more than that to start this thing up. When Joni and Chunky are up here, they've got the whole lake to drink water out of, and they don't. They'll come over here though, they like to drink it out of the pump. 
I get that question a lot, why do I bring up fresh water like for showers instead of just using the pump? The pump works great. Um, I tested the water, sent the water in and had it tested, it's fine. But up here, this is close to like the Iron Range area of Minnesota, so there's a lot of iron. You know, like in the soil and the water and everything, so it's it's got like a reddish tinge to it. And it's fine, you can drink it, you can shower in it, but you just feel more normal when you just have regular clear water. I'm kind of procrastinating and pulling that boat in. That water is down probably six, eight inches from when I was up here six, seven weeks ago. It always sucks pulling it into the water. It's easy to pull it out of the water. But when you're putting it in the water, you've got that flat back of the boat that's fighting you when you're pulling it on land. Melissa and I have noticed with Joni this year, she seems a little bit slower than she usually has been. She's always been a little firecracker, you know, they, her and Chunky love to run along with the buggy. We take that out, Chunky will bark and he's so excited. And Joni will run along too and if she lags behind you just call her and she'll shoot up in front of it. You know, she's always going 100 miles an hour. And now this year, she seems slower She'll race around at first and then she'll lag behind and you can call her and she'll still come running up. But just both of us have noticed that she just seems a little bit more mellow. But she's six or seven years old right now and nine years old for a pit bull is getting pretty old. So she's getting up there as far as a pit bull goes. Joni! Joni! Quit licking the bug spray off. Come here! Come on! Good girl. Joni, go put the boat in the water. <laughs> That's a good girl, huh? I had to put one of my deer hunting hats on when I was mowing because the deer flies were banging me in the back of the head and then get stuck in your hair. And I sprayed the heck out of this one with bug spray, so I gotta remember not to bring that out to my deer stand if I don't wash it. See if anything happened on the front of the tent while I was gone. They took zero pictures. Something's wrong either with the SD card or the batteries on the camera, but I thought I put new ones in before we left. Well, nope, they're dead. It came on for a second. When it does that, you turn it on and then it'll just give you that little flash and then it goes dead. I thought I switched these out last time. I just grabbed the camera that's shining on the dock, so let's see if we get anything here. Well, we have pictures. 
Whoa, look at that. We got a moose. Oh, look at that. It's a male. Every year we seem to get one that comes through. Usually it's on the other side of the... It probably this one might have if the camera would have worked. Sweet. I don't know what that is. A bird maybe? A bird or... No, I think that's a... A dragonfly. Oh! <laughs> crap! <laughs> That's not the same one. That could have very well been him that, or her that hit the thing by the uh, fire pit. That's me today. Zachary and or Zachary was up here. He got a boat for he bought a boat from George and he was just up here a couple days ago. Yesterday was it? Yesterday or the day before trying it out and I thought maybe he would buzz. He said he didn't come to the tent, but I thought he might come over here. But he was just trying out the motor for the first time, one of them that he fixed up. So he might have stayed closer to the boat landing. I better run out and grab Joni's food. It's past her supper time. There you go. I knew you wouldn't need any of it, but it's there if you want it. I like making the bed just about as much as I like doing dishes. But at least up here I don't have that. You know how you have the sheet that goes on the mattress and then they have the other sheet, like when you go to a hotel, that real tight one? Melissa always makes us put that on the bed at home and I just, um, this one here just went into the closet. <laughs> Never put one on here. I put on a few pieces of hardwood, let that burn down for a little while, and we'll throw on a couple of pork steaks. I wanted to show you guys this before I forget. When we first got here, I was looking for the oregano. All of this is oregano. I had just one little plant, and for some reason it comes up. You know, I come in here, I'll weed it a little more tomorrow, and that grows, and then this is chives. Um, I have some from my mom at the uh, farmhouse and then I had brought some up here and put them here and some in a pot and the ones in the pot they died after I don't know how many years but these every year they just pop up not as healthy because it's not as long of a growing season here as what it is like at the farmhouse or even before that at the uh, hobby farmhouse but they grow. Mosquitoes are still biting out here, but there's none by the fire. What are you sniffing around for, Joni? I'm just going to do two of these pork steaks tonight and uh, just freeze the other two.
Okay, everyone, it's 1045. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Good morning, everybody. It's actually only 5.33 right now. I haven't set the time on the weather station, but it's chilly outside. But there's no bugs out when it's this cold. George just texted me from across the lake and he said he was talking to somebody and they said the bugs are the worst they have been in 40 years. That's like, why this year? <laughs> And one thing he brought up, at least the wind yesterday kind of kept him at bay. He said he was out mowing and he had a mosquito head net on. I have no idea what today is going to be like. It's supposed to be calm. Just thought I'd come out and throw a few casts this morning. Joni's getting kind of cold, even though I have life jackets for her to sit on. She likes to ride in the boat.
Well, I had my earpiece in and I just talked to Melissa on her ride up here until the phone went dead. So she's roughly 50 miles away right now. So I'm going to uh, go take a shower, shave, and then get out and start the barbecue, get the potatoes on, and she should get up here 11.30ish with Chunky and then I can throw the steaks on and we'll have a nice lunch. I think everything is ready for Melissa and Chunky to show up. Potatoes are cooking on the grill. Put the steaks on in probably about, I don't know, 20 minutes or 30 minutes. Come on. Who is it? Who is it? Who is it? <laughs> this is my chair now. <laughs> this is my chair now. Dad had you some pillows up here. The potatoes are far enough along now so I can put the steaks on. Doing two ribeyes and two New York strips. And then I've got potatoes on. And I bought sour cream, brought cheese up, butter. I can get some chives out of the garden. Almost like a loaded, oh and yeah, cheese, so almost like a loaded mashed potato or baked potato. I got up here and I forgot I didn't have any, hardly any of the seasoning left. Then I got a hold of Melissa and told her to grab one because I got a bunch of these at the house.
If I can't catch a fish, there's just no fish. <laughs> Well, it took us about an hour and a half, but we finally filled out and got all four northerns. There we go, four filleted and deboned northern pike fillets. Our four fish that are fully filleted. And we have bait for catching crayfish. I want to make one of these double seats for the farmhouse fire pit, but I didn't have any measurements. So I told myself when I come up here, I'll get what I need. I mean, this part's the same as the chair, that part is, but I didn't know this and I didn't know how high this goes. Okay everyone, well we had a nice night. It's about 9.30 right now. Probably be in bed in about an hour. Still some mosquitoes up, but they've died down a little bit because it's getting colder. And right now we're thinking we'll probably stay and have lunch here tomorrow, and then we'll head home. Good morning everybody. It's about a quarter to 11 right now. Melissa and I have been hanging out inside the tent. We're going to jump in the boat right now and go out and give it a half hour try for fishing. Have two potatoes in the oven. Cooking right now and I still have those two New York strip steaks from yesterday that we'll have for lunch. Does he? Can you see it? No. But he just swirled next to it. Right.
Well, Melissa and I went out fishing, got a few hits. She caught the one fish. We threw it back. We got our four yesterday, so that's our limit and our possession limit until we have a fish fry. Came back and had some lunch. And then we just watched a movie. She had never saw the movie The Mule, so we watched that. Now we're just winding down here. It's, um, I don't know, 2.30 in the afternoon, so it's time to start picking stuff up if we're going to head back tonight. Change of plans. We think now we'll just stay and leave early tomorrow morning. We want to go to a movie tomorrow and go out to lunch tomorrow, so maybe leave by 8 o'clock tomorrow morning. Come on. You look pretty rough. Where's everybody else? Come on. There you go. We've been out here for over an hour. Melissa finally caught a fish. They are just not biting tonight. Try to keep the mosquitoes from going in that door. They just like to hang out right in front there. <laughs> you let about 10 of them in the tent and you're swatting at them all night. That's been a nice time up here with Melissa. Boat's all done now. Still some things to pick up inside. July 3rd, fireworks going off. Bugs? Right. Or something, you know, it just seemed weird to me. Well, we could have done a, a 
cash app or something to them. Right. I don't think they had anything like that. Well, we've just been in there cleaning things up tonight, getting it put out in my truck. We had the movie Planet of the Apes, the original. Just got done, so now I just put in the movie 2012, which I've seen oh, so many times up here. And Melissa doesn't know if she's ever seen it before. <laughs> just cooking some of this food up. We'll eat some of it tonight and bring the rest of it home tomorrow. Nice night tonight. You hear the random fireworks going off, which you know somebody's up here having fun somewhere. Otherwise it's quiet. Where's Chunky, Joni? What is it, Joni? Get him. What is it? Chunky, is that you? You all done? Good boy. It's 10.35, it's time for bed. Good morning everybody, five minutes after six. Off and on rain showers, Melissa and I are just picking everything up. If I can get done with my sneezing fit I'm going through. And we should be out of here in probably, I don't know, 45 minutes.
Okay, everyone. Well, thanks a lot for watching. Had a really great time up at the tent this time with Melissa and the dogs. Everything's mowed, got some fishing in. Just a nice relaxing time. See you guys on the next video.